Now, as we have already discussed the mensuration percentage cases in the previous session, the same logic will be applying on these sort of problems. Okay, here the the tax on a commodity is diminished by fifteen percent and its consumption is increased by ten percent. What is the effect on revenue derived from it? Now, friends, here this term re revenue is dependent on tax and consumption. Okay, so let's tax into consumption is revenue. That is amount of tax into its consumption is revenue. is revenue now suppose the amount of tax is 10 its consumption is 10 that means the revenue is 100 now tax is diminished by 80 uh, by 15 percent that means the new tax is 8.5 okay and the consumption is increased by 10 percent that means the new consumption is 11 now we have to uh, see the net impact 11 into 85 It is 93.5. So what's the net increase? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, there is a decrease. It is 6.5%. Okay. If tax is decreased by 15% and consumption is increased by 10%, then the net effect on revenue is 6.5% and that is a downfall. Okay. So there is a downfall in the revenue. I hope you are getting my point. Now let's see this question. The marketing manager of a company proposed a scheme to increase the revenue of XYZ Limited. He proposed the price per unit of toys should be decreased by 20%. As a result, the number of units sold are increased by 25%. Was the proposal wise? Okay. What favorable or unfavorable changes will be derived? Friends, here in this case, we are uh, dealing with two variables. That is number of units and their price. Okay. So, price into number is equal to revenue. Okay. Now, let's assume the price uh, per unit is 10 and the number of units is also 10. So, the total revenue generated is 100. Okay. Now, uh, he proposed the price per unit should be decreased by 20%. That means the new price is 8 and the number of units are increased by 25%. That means the new number of units is 12.5. So it's further 100. That means there are no changes in the revenue. Okay. Uh, initially it was 100 and after uh, this scheme, uh, the still the revenue is 100 so there is no change so was the proposal wise what we can say that the proposal is actually not wise since we are not gaining anything but to implement a scheme it takes lots of efforts so there is no benefit out of it okay i, I hope you are clear now in this case the price of a TV set is decreased by 25% as a result of which the sales increase by 20%. What is the net effect on revenue? Uh, similarly, let, uh, there are two variables, price and number of units. So, price into number of units is equal to revenue. Let uh, both of them uh, be 10. So, 10 into 10, the initial revenue is 100. Now price is decreased by 25%. That means the new price is 7.5 and the sales is increased by 20%. That means the new number of units is 12. Okay. Now what 12 into uh, 7.5? It's around 9. That means it must be around 90. So it's 10. Okay. That is 10 downfall uh, over 100. That means it's a 10% downfall in the revenue. Okay. which is none of this over here. I hope you are clear. Just identify the variables, identify the formula for calculating the revenue and take the base value as 10 and calculate. It's as simple as that. Now, 
the price of uh, tea being increased by 20% a man reduces his consumption by 20% okay so further there are two variables the price and the consumption let's take the consumption in kilograms okay so that means price per kilogram into its uh, consumption in kilogram is equal to total budget of the month okay or we can say total expenses on that particular commodity okay now let the price be 10 and we are consuming 10 kilograms a month that means the budget or the expenses on tea is 100 rupees a month now price is increased by 20 percent so it's a 12 and consumption is decreased by 20 percent so it's 8 so the new expenses are 96 so there is a 4 percent downfall in expenses okay so by how much percent will his expenses on t will be decreased it's by four percent okay friends i hope you are clear now in this question entry fee in an exhibition was rupees one later this was reduced by 25 percent which increased the sales by 20 percent uh, we have to find out the percentage increase in the number of visitors. Further, there are two variables. That is the entry fee and number of visitors. Okay. So, fee into number of visitors is equal to total sales. Okay. Now, let's, uh, the initial fee is 10 rupees. Instead of rupees 1, we will assume it to be 10. Since we are calculating the percentage change, the, it doesn't matter. We take it 1 or 10. So let's take it as 10 and number of visitors are 10. That means the sales is 100. Now, the fee is being reduced by 25%. So the new fee is 7.5. We have to find out the number of visitors and the sales is increased by 20%. So the new sales is 120. So X will be 120 by 7.5. So it's sixteen. Okay. So initially the number of visitors were ten. Now they now they are sixteen. So there is a sixty percent increase in number of visitors. I hope you are clear. The most important part over here is to find out this relationship. Okay. That is fee into number of visitors is equal to total amount received that is revenue or that is sales okay let's take the new one 